So for tomorrow morning is now you use the painting from a Slovakian artist. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, it's really interesting because you, I can't remember exactly how we came across this painting, but as soon as I saw it, I knew I was right for this. Um, it's a it's a, a painter by the name of Ludovic Coco who died in the uh, mid '70s, and uh, his work is uh, uh, on display at the uh, National uh, Slovak Gallery. We were in touch with them and they gave us the rights to it. They were very kind. But it's so evocative and perfect for you know what we were thinking of. It's this uh, uh, beautiful scene in the meadow. Uh, a shepherd and his sheep are all around and he's in like uh, brown robes, almost like a monk, although he's a shepherd. And he is embracing this angel with her wings all you know, fully spread and ascending and he's holding her as she lifts off the ground. Uh, when Sylvia saw this and I told her that we were going to use this for the cover, she said this is the saddest cover that you've ever uh, But I think there's something, again, in the, exactly like the music we were talking about, the sense of longing, you know? Uh, but to me there's a great, there's a, there's a real feeling of, of, of hope and faith in this painting. He was very interesting man also in that he was a he was a stonemason he was not classically trained and he didn't consider himself a painter but he just he created these amazing works of faith uh, that image is called it's based on it, uh, a story uh, Jacob wrestling with the angel and it doesn't look like a wrestling match at all it just looks like this love that he has you know please don't and, and please don't leave me and you have the feeling that that angel is his faith so again, in answering these questions uh, about the, the record being overtly religious or not, uh, sometimes I think my answers seem to indicate that it is. But I think of faith in a different way than I do of sort of, you know, specific religion or religiosity itself. And that's something that's very close to the project, aside even just from this particular album, to Morning Is Not, but the entire Bipolar Explorer project is very much centered on its dedication and honor of our fallen bandmate and my late girlfriend Summer Seraphin, who's a co-founder of the band, the band's vocalist. She died in a tragic accident in 2011. She was just 31. We're in the park, so there may be a like passerby like that now. I'm sorry, but but I often say of the work, of our band's work, that it is up for and about summer. So I often write songs uh, of and for and about her. And But the albums are very much of her too because we have an uh, archive of her isolated vocal tracks and lots of isolated vocals. And from that, I'm able to write songs around her vocals and uh, fly them in so she's on every record in addition to those singing, uh, those isolated vocal tracks of her uh, singing, uh, it, there's lots of spoken words that she appears on every album. And uh, I really feel, I think we all do, that she's really the soul of the band. I mean, uh, Summer's largely responsible for the musical direction that we went in. Uh, there was really actually one Bipolar Spur album, which is really sort of a, a continuation of a earlier project of mine, but it really changed when someone joined the band. That's why we think of uh, Sarah being the co-founder, because everything changed when she joined the band, and the albums, you know, since the second one to now, are all very much uh, up front about her. But this is, uh, I think we all think of Summer also as being sort of the, the soul of the band, and, and this, this compass that helps us find our way. I mean, the songs come to us dreams, the lyrics, the melodies, and a compass has this kind of magnetic, this magnetic thing that draws you to the north and draws you to your the true way, and I feel that summer has drawn us in the, in the directions that we go and has drawn, for instance, very importantly, Sylvia, to me personally, and to the band. The band's been for, I think, 10
10 members have come and gone through the ranks of Black Willard Explorer over 10 plus years and coming up on nine albums. And I've always thought of Summer and myself as the core of that group. I think everyone does, even the people who've come and gone and are on hiatus. But Sylvia really feels like the true third member of the group. And I said something in an interview last year about how extraordinary it was waiting until morning because there are moments where it just seems like that Sylvia's always been with us, and perhaps she has, in the same way that Summer is always with us now, that the, th the three of us seem to come together and merge as one voice. And I'm feeling that very much as we work the early stages on the ninth album now. Uh, it's indispensable, and in the same way that uh, it's so fitting, maybe, that, that uh, Ludovic Coco's uh, painting, that he embraces in what seems like a very bittersweet moment, like, don't leave me. You know that she'll never leave. This angel looks so much like Summer too, is another thing that's very rocking. Because it is that, it's that truth um, that's at our core. And when you touch on that, you know it's yours, and you know it transcends life, it transcends you know, death, it transcends mortality, it is the pureness. things for the right reason, not out of any ambition, but only to honor this thing that's so pure and, uh, and, and connects us. We've been really lucky with, with uh, the, the artists that we've collaborated with, too. They just seem in the same way, that magnetic way, they seem to be, I don't know, we're drawn to each other somehow. We find the things that we need, and this is the universal thing, too. We find the things that we need in the moments that we need them. And uh, finding uh, Mr. Kukal was very important. And uh, finding uh, Audin Grimstadt, who's done all of our art design for the last uh, four albums, has been very crucial. He's a wonderful painter also. We really love working with, uh, uh, with visual artists. And that's a huge part of our, uh, our project. You know, we spent a lot of time thinking about uh, the artwork. Question answered there somehow? Did that magically happen? I think, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you.